Hello, my dear students. Welcome back to the lecture. So, in this lecture, we will see how we can make use of the sum if option. Okay. Uh, to put it in a better way, see, we had seen the sum option, right? For example, I have done one table, or let me take you to some other table, something like this. Yeah, I'll go back to one of our table which we had done. For example, uh, here we had done the total cost. Now, if I want to know what is the total money that is uh, involved right from f cons to all these things what i would be doing i'll be saying like equal to sign i can say sum i can say open the bracket and then what i would have done i, I would have dragged like this up to here and then let me close it this was one way of adding everything but now let us say i want only uh, the cost from the contractor f cons yeah in that case we, what we could do is we could come here we'll go to the data option there's option called as filter i'll apply the filter command yeah let me do that here I'll do like this and select like this okay up to here and go to filter okay filter then in the filter i would come and let us say i want only to see the f cons one so i'll come here i'll select only f cons i'll say okay right but again what has happened i i'm not getting uh, on the total cost for the f cons but again in that case you go for other option like uh, uh, subtotal and all so rather than doing all those things subtotal you remember right the previous time i'd explained you how to make use of this subtotal option and all so here we'll try to understand one more uh, command in Excel that is called a sum if. So what is this sum if? So here I've done a table like this is month, contractor name, uh, the concrete consumption I've written, I've written the cement bag consumption. Okay. So this is a month where SMCC, Tata, LNT, Fpons company have worked. And in the month of January, the, this is the cement consumption. And this is the number of bags what they have utilized. Similarly, in the month of same company, in the month of February, again, I've given a different number. Again, I've given the cement bag. So my requirement is I want to see for the SMCC company how much concrete consumption has happened and how much total cement bag has happened. That is for everything, right? Right from Jan to Feb, I want to know. And it will be a kind of a dynamic chart. Okay. Now, again, if I want Tata, for example, I have written Tata here, right? Let me change this from Tata. I'll put uh, Shimizu or uh, let me put NCC. The moment I put NCC and enter, you see, this value has changed, right? Got, got my point. So whatever you want to add, you can add it. For example, let me add uh, other. Let me add Tata here. I'll write TATA -T -A, Tata company. I want and already I put the formula. I'll teach you that. But I'll drag it like this. Finish. So I got the answer here. That is a uh, total Tata company has got uh, total concrete consumption right from January to Feb. They have got 1,100 concrete consumption and cement bag also. If I drag drag it like this, so I'll get the cement bag also. You're getting my point, no? Yeah. So in this way, we can make a uh, table and that is based on the sum if, sum if option. So now let me try to teach you how it has to be done. So again, I'll write here contractor or let me copy the same thing so that I don't waste my time. I'll select like this. You can take anything, but I'll I'll go with this option called as contractor, concrete consumption, total cement bag. Okay, I'll put it here. Finish. Okay, good. Now let me write one company. For example, I'll write, I'll, okay, let me match the value and show you. I'll write NCC, okay, Nagarjuna Construction Company, fine. Now my, this thing, options will be, that is sum if equal to SUMIF, sum if, okay. You write equal to symbol in your keyboard and you'll get sum if. The moment you get, you'll get something like this, click on this. Now it's asking you, what is the range that you're looking for? So this concrete consumption, what is the range you're looking for? See, I want to find in the contractor. So I'll click my mouse here on the C option, I'll click, that means, you want to find this NCC company in this from this particular range. Okay, that is the first thing. Range is selected. Give a comma to that. It's asking you what is the criteria. Criteria is this one. I want NCC, this company NCC to be looked in this particular column because there are many companies. But my requirement is only for NCC. So this Excel sheet will come in this particular column and it will search for all the name where there is NCC. And in that, it has to, I'll give one more comma. In that, I want to know what is the concrete consumption. So then I'll click on this particular column because concrete consumption is coming in this column, right? So keep your mouse on the top and click on this. Now close the bracket and hit enter. Finish. What is the answer? I got 1064. Previously also I got 1064. Here also I got 1064. Got it, right? Now, similarly, I go with the total cement bag consumption. Again, now you tell me how it has to be done. Equal to sign. Exactly. Sum if. Exactly. Now open the bracket. Okay. So it's asking you what is the range? So now I require cement bag. That is okay. But first I want for the NCC company. So my range will be again this contractor. I'll click on this comma. It's asking you what is the criteria. So what is the criteria? Criteria is look for this 
NCC uh, contractor in this particular column. So click on that comma. Now it's asking you what is a sum range. So I'm looking for cement bag, right? So cement bag is here, this column. Previously it was concrete consumption. So I had clicked on this column. But right now I'm looking for a cement bag. So I'll click on this column and I'll close the bracket. And I'll, I'll hit enter. So I'm getting 6020. Got it, right? Now I'll select this. I'll bring them at the center. I'll bring them at the center. Yeah, now it looks good. And let me give a fine. Now what will happen? Now again, I'll write few other companies. Okay. I'll write Tata also. TATA. -T I'll write Tata. TATA -T -A, Tata. Uh, I'll write IRB also. Let me write Tata. Then I'll write IRB. Okay. Fine. So what I'll do, I'll just drag this. Now it's very simple for me. I'll bring them at the center. Now I'll put a. Yeah. So what I can do now, I'll just drag this in this way because already the formula has been applied. You just drag it like this. And same thing you do it here. You drag it like this. That's it. Finish. You get your answer. See here. Tata here I had got 1100. Same thing I'm getting here. Cement bag I had got 6400. Same thing I'm getting. Now what is the magic you know. The magic let us say. Uh, now up to February I added. And I've created a table like this. Now let us say. Uh, I'll copy few more values from here. I'll copy like this. I'll copy from here. Like this. I'll say control C. Okay. And let me put it here. You see the value will keep on changing now. Okay. It, it has become a dynamic now. So I'll put my values here. So I'll return control V. Did you see the difference? The moment I put control V here. You see the value has changed here. Right. You're getting my point. Now let me put March here. I'm just increasing the column. March. And also I'll write March. Two times I'll write. And then let me drag it. Okay. Then I'll select like this. And I'll drag it like this. Finish. I'll say March. Finish. Now if I keep, let us say you have lot of entries to be done. So the moment you keep on adding all the values will keep on changing here. Right. Now rather than now here directly instead of IRB I'll change the value. I don't IRB. Let me put F cons. I'll write A F C O N S. And I'll put enter. You see the values also change here. Getting my point. So individually if you want to verify so you can verify. Let me verify it individually also. F cons is here. Another F cons is here. And then another F cons is here, right? So three times I got F cons. I'll give a different color to identify. Now we added 536 plus 536 plus 536. Obviously it should come uh, 1608. Let me verify that. Equal to uh, 536 into 3. That's it. 1608. Same answer I'm getting, right? So you understood how this option has to sum if, sum if option. So in this way, let us say you have huge uh, data. Now up to March I did. Let us say you have April. Then you have. Uh, June, July, August, something and keep on, and keep on adding all the values here and the, automatically all your values will get updated here. Got it. Now if you want you can add uh, instead of Tata you can remove this Tata. Let me write uh, uh, let me write uh, Shimizu here. I'll write Shimizu company and I'll put enter finish. I got the value. So concrete consumption is 1959 and total cement bag is 1140. Now similarly instead of contractor you can go with the month wise also. Here I've written contractor. So if you want, uh, you can do the same thing for the month also. That also can be done. So if you want, I can do that. I'll just select these things. I'll say Control C. I'll just paste it here. Control V. And here let me uh, go for which one? Month. M-O-N-T-H. Month I'll go. Okay. And now I have to change the formula. Because this formula will not work out now. Okay. So month what I'll do, I'll change the month. I'll go with uh, Jan first. Let me write Jan. Of course, it will give a zero value. The reason is, you see here. What is the reason? Now, the moment I select here, it is showing me this column. Contractor column it has selected. I don't want. So, just drag the column like this. Okay. Finish. You will get the answer. Let me try that. Let me try it again. Yeah. Okay. I think it's not working. No issues. So, in that case, what you do is, uh, you this is C column what it has selected. Come here. You remove this C, okay, and just select this column and then hit the enter button. Finish. It has to give. See, January it has given me the total concrete consumption, okay. Then, similarly, for the cement bag, also you double click. So, it has selected the contractor one. Now, we are looking for the month wise. So, again, what you can do, come here. This CC is this range what we had selected. I'll delete that and then I'll click on this one and I'll say enter. Finish. So, you can see total 29,144. Cement bag has been utilized in the month of January. Of course, if you select all the January month, you'll get the same answer. 
if you want we can verify that also individually if required see i'll uh, write uh, some and i'll write open bracket so this is january right from here to here this is january i'll close the bracket i think i should get yeah 29144 same answer i got here got it right so in this way you want you don't want january let us see you want to see feb month so click on feb finish okay it's not working has to work right so why didn't it change so it's not working for Jan yeah fine Feb okay it's not working for Feb okay so I don't know why it's not working it should work actually no problem we can make it in the next column and we can change it so it has to change okay Maybe there is some problem, but again, this is how it has to be done. You don't have to worry. The answer will remain the same. So because it is selecting everything. Okay. So in this case, we have selected that. This is also selected. Or you can change the formula and you can do that. Uh, let me do that also. No issues. Let me see why it's not coming. Okay. So first what we'll do, submit. First it is asking you to select. So the, this is what our selection is. Then I'll say comma. It's asking you for the criteria. Criteria is this month. Then, comma. We are looking for concrete consumption. So I'll click on concrete consumption. I'll say close the bracket. Finish. Okay. Okay. The answer remains the same. Fine. Because all the values I had copied, right? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. That is why it's not changing. The reason is very simple. Because whatever answer I had copied here, just if I want to, I'll, I'll make this value change. So in the month of February, I'll change one value. Rather than 536, I'll make this 600. And definitely you'll see the change in this value. Yeah, exactly. See, this value has changed. Okay. Yeah, that was the reason why it was not changing. Since right from the top, all the values I had copied. Okay. That is why there was no movement in this answer. You're getting my point, right? So in this way, you can make use of this sum if option. And tomorrow, let us see you added another 10, 10, uh, 10 more uh, months also. It will automatically give you update here. And later when I go for the creation of the PO table and all, it will be very important. Uh, so that with the help of a chart you can come to a conclusion uh, in which uh, food which contractor has done more concrete consumption and more cement bag consumption then again in the month of february how much concrete consumption has happened how much cement consumption has ha happened so in this way you can get an idea when we try to put uh, put the uh, bar chart and all those uh, uh, slicers and all yeah so the next option what we have is the count count if option okay we have done this sum if option now let me go with the count option for example i'll go with a different chart here i've written all the students name right now i don't know how many students are there so i want to know how many students are there here so in that case i go with the option called as count so I write it here equal to c o u n t counter this option called as counter click on that counter bracket open you just select all the students from here so how many students are there student number one is starting from here you drag all the students till the last last student he is the last student and close the bracket hit enter that means all together there are 72 students here so this is the importance of a count option so if you do the sum option it will not take uh, when you have names and all uh, let us say you want to understand how many students are there right in that case you use this count option count a and then you drag you give the range from where it has to start so in this way it will give you how many students are there okay so they all together there are 72 students here yeah and the last one option what we have is a count if so what is this count if so count if let us say here yeah so next option what we have is a count if so what is this count if see here there are many students whose names is uh, written two times like for example abhishek kumar and abhishek kumar let us say ankit kumar and ankit kumar so in this way uh, there may be another few names here uh, which has been repeated so I want to know all those things. So in that case, I can make use of an option called as count if. So I'll write here equal to sign C O U N T count if. Okay. So I have to write C O U N T count if. So it's written here count if. Open the bracket. It's asking you to select the range. So my student's range is starting from here. You just select this. Wait. Let me do one thing. I'll delete this. I'll write it here. Okay. Equal to C O U N T count if. 
bracket open so the range is i'll select all this entire name of the student this entire range up to here okay and i'll say comma and now i'll select this student look for adil zahur is this name repeated twice or tell me how many times this name is repeated in this chart so i selected this his name and i'll close the bracket i'll hit enter so it's writing only one that means this adil zahur name is repeated only one in this entire table now for one i have put the table so i'll just drag it like this up to here i'll drag it so you can see everywhere it is showing me one but there are few places where it is showing me two <coughs> for example this abhishek kumar it is showing me this abhishek kumar is twice in the same way it is showing me ankit kumar it is repeated twice right got it so in this way you can try to find uh, how many times this particular name has been repeated the same can be applied even on this also where we had done uh, done this uh, sorting option for example here also i can do that for smcc i'll write it here equal to sign count if open bracket so this is a range that you need to look for okay this is a range that you are supposed to look for i'll give comma and the name is smcc and close the bracket so total three times obviously see one smcc it's repeated here then again it is repeated here uh, this is the second time it is repeated in the month of march and then i think yeah in february also it is repeated three times it is repeated right similarly if i drag it like this everywhere it will show me three times Where, right everywhere it will show me three times so in this way you can make use of this <coughs> count if option to understand how many times the name has been repeated right so wherever the requirement comes you can apply this command now it's not that every time this commands will be useful to you depends on the situation for example uh, here see like in the previous case i wanted to find how many students are there so in that case this counter number will help me to understand how many students were there so i got to know that there were 72 students here right so in this way wherever the situation demands you can make use of it and you can try to apply it so try to practice up to here and also try to make use of this sum if option which i had taught you it's very important because at the moment you keep on changing some values here if i put to 750 so the value keeps on changing here so this is good so that you get an idea so we'll see you back in the next lecture. Thank you.